Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayanne, if you don't know already, and today I am going to be showing you my review and thoughts on the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette, and I also did an eye look with it. I recently got this palette and it just was released. It's still in stock, so you still can purchase this palette, so you can go to ColourPop.com and get that. Also, I am in collaboration with a friend here on YouTube. Her name is Margaret Espinoza. She is going to be doing an eye look as well on this palette, and it's going to be interesting to see the different eye looks we come up with, if we come up with the same or if it's different. But yeah, so if you would like to see my thoughts, my reviews, swatches, the way this, how to get this eyeshadow look, then please keep watching. Inside it says ColourPop and has hashtag ColourPop me. I believe it says hashtag ColourPop me, so if you make a look like this, you just hashtag ColourPop me so ColourPop can find all your eye looks. So I am going to, this is my second time filming this, so I already used this palette, but my light, I've got new lighting and my lighting was just horrible in the last time, so I'm redoing this. But I am going to start off with this shade right here, which is called Bel Air. It is like a nice, perfect transition shade. From what I saw, there is a tad bit of fallout, which I don't mind a little bit of fallout in my eyeshadows. I actually prefer it rather than having no fallout. So, yeah. This is a shadow that I believe that they sell through... ColourPop's pressed pigments is Bel Air, but it's the only shadow that you can actually buy through ColourPop. All the other shadows are uniquely meant for this palette only. I really, really like the blendability of it, especially because it has a little bit of fallout. It, gives, it makes it easier for you to blend, and it's just like the perfect amount. I really, really love it. But so far, so good. I really, really love the pigmentation. I love how easily they blend. It's just very... It's a, it's a cute palette. It's good. The only thing, like I said, is that it has very small shadows. Okay, so for my next transition sheet, I'm going to go down here to this corner shadow, which I'm guessing is called My Type. And it's just like a dark matte shadow. This shadow right here looks like it's matte, but it's not matte. It has a tad bit of a sheen to it. So I definitely would be careful when you go, if you use that shadow as like an all over the lid to like set your primer shadow. Because it has that bit of sheen to it. But it could be not noticeable. I am going to use it on my brow bone later. But I had to mention that. This is just a little bit more darker of a shade, so it like gives you a little bit more depth. I really love it. The only thing I wish is that it came with a mirror. I feel like it should be just standard that every eyeshadow palette comes with a mirror. It should be standard, it comes with a mirror and the names are on the eyeshadows or on the back, just so you have the names there. I think those should be like the two standard things of a eyeshadow palette because I feel like it really matters. So now we're going to go in our all over lid shade. Ooh, I love this one. Do you see it's just like a red, like a copper, kind of like a penny. And this one reminds me of pumpkins. And this is what I used the original time, but I wasn't too happy with the colors that I mixed to get this. So I don't know if I'm going to use that, but I'm going to just show you these swatched. Do you see that? How gorgeous those colors are? I freaking love it. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So, no, you're not supposed to match your makeup with, like, your clothing, but I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here because it just reminds me of, like, a red penny. Like, this one reminds me of penny, but this one is just, like, I don't know. I can't describe it, but I really like this one, and I really like this one. I like both. But I'm going to do this one right here, this red one. 
and I'm going to spray it. You can spray it with Fix Plus or whatever you use, but I always use my Mario Badescu spray because it's just kind of like that. So I just use it for so much. It's my favorite spray at the moment. This palette just reminds me of fall. Like all the colors are just so folly. So this eyeshadow, as you can see, is very foiled. It's so freaking pretty. Like, I love it. I've never tried, like, ColourPop's pigmented, or, like, the pressed shadows. So, I was pretty excited to get this palette. Now that we have the all over lid shadow, we're going to go back in and we're just like going to blend it so it matches our other, like it blends. <laughs> and I'm going to go back into Bel Air. I'm like really loving Bel Air, so I think I may have to buy it just outside of this palette because it's a very good transition sheet. Like it's like the perfect transition sheet for me. And then I'm going to take like a fluffier brush. I'm just going to kind of blend it some more. I'm really wearing like a long sleeve shirt and it's like 103 degrees outside. I just want it to be fall already so badly. But I did hear that where I live on like Friday and this weekend it's going to go back down to the 80s and like start hopefully staying that way and to me 80 degrees is so cool and so nice like it's my favorite degree so as you can see it didn't really darken up my outer corner too much with such a like vibrant foil shadow over so I'm going to take the black shadow and a very a smaller it's a little bit more dense it's a smaller brush and I'm just going to like tap it into my corner and then I'm going to blend it out with a bigger fluffier brush you don't want to go in with a big fluffy brush because you'll just have black everywhere so I'm just like barely going to tap it and if you can see this there's like so much shadow which, and I barely tapped it like it's the blackest black I've ever seen I dipped like in one time into the my type and I am blending it with the black so that it's just like a darker brown instead of such a black. I think that's what this palette's missing. Maybe it's just like a little bit of a darker brown. Now I'm going to take this shade right here and I think it is called my treat. No, rowdy. I think it's called rowdy and it's just like this if you can, if, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of has like a small reflective, like little glitter in it. Okay, so I'm going to get a translucent powder and kind of clean up just a little bit. And I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way. I'm just gonna let that sit there and bake for a little bit so it kind of like cleans it up. <gasps> okay, so just clean this up, dust it away. Probably had to put more highlight on because I kind of went in with a matte translucent powder. So, okay. I was, does anybody like, do people just still curl their eyelashes or does nobody curl their eyelashes? Because I was watching um, a video and this girl was like, yeah, I just got an eyelash curler for the first time and it makes such a difference. I'm so happy. And I'm like, how do people not curl their eyelashes anymore? I feel like I've curled my eyelashes for as long as I can do makeup, which was when I was like in seventh or eighth grade. So I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Double Extend. And I'm just using the priming side. I need a new one. It's getting old. And then I'm going to take the Benefit Roller Lash. This actually is on sale right now at Ulta, or will be, 
this week sometime, either today or this week sometime. It's on sale for like 12 bucks. So if you can pick this up at Ulta for 12 bucks, do it because it's a really good mascara just alone. It was one of my favorite mascaras until I found the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in and do our lower lash line while we make wait for the mascara to dry. And we're gonna kinda take the same shades that we used in the crease. Actually, I'm probably just gonna take like the darker shade, the my type, because every time I do like a lighter shade down there, it like never shows up. I don't know why, but it happens every time. It feels like I waste. Waste of a shadow. I'm taking my type and putting it down on my lower lash line. And kind of, and I'm using like a pencil brush, but it's like a it's not like super dense. It's dense, but it's not super dense, so it kind of smokes it out a little bit. So now I'm going to take the pencil brush and we're gonna go into the black and we're just gonna go into like the first third of your eye, of your outer eye. Just so it kind of blends up to the top. So it like goes together, if you know what I mean. I am going to put highlight in the corner and we're going to do an inner corner highlight. And we're going to do a pop of color for the inner corner highlight because I just have to use that yellow. I have to incorporate the yellow. <laughs> I'm going to take... For the inner corner highlight, I always like take a bigger brush and make like a bigger part inner corner highlight and then I go in with like the more specific color I want. So I always just use my highlighter that I've used on my face which was the Desi Katie Fuego Dose of Colors Highlight. There's so now we are going to go into the inner corner highlight. And from the last time I learned this, is you have to take like a brush that's like synthetic and dense, very dense, for it to work because it's sort of like a glitter, it's like more glittery, it's not like a foiled shadow, it's a little bit more glittery. If you can see it, like it's just kind of like there and it, it definitely needs spray. If you're going to spray any of your shadows, spray this one or you're probably going to have fallout. Okay, so now I'm going to do like a more pop of color inner corner highlight with this. I feel like I already like created this look kind of, but with like matte shadows for like the red as my fall look. So I think we're pretty much done. I just need to put eyelashes on and do mascara on my lower eyelashes. Can't forget that. And then this look will be completed. My lashes are on. I am going to put mascara on my lower eyelashes and then this look should be completed. We also have to add lipstick. Is my completed look on the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. I absolutely adore this palette. I love this palette. If this palette does not scream fall to you, then I don't know what does because all these are fall vibes right here, all of them. But other than that, I freaking love this palette. I can see me using it so much. I will be doing other tutorials on different eye looks that I get from this palette, but it's definitely awesome. It's $16, which is a great price. So please, Get this palette, check it out. Don't forget to check out my friend Margaret's video down in the description box below. And yeah, leave me comments on what kind of eye look you would like to see with this palette. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.